Hello, this is quite an unusual video for me. I'm not sure I've ever done a vlog before, so I thought I'd give it a go to talk about my recent experiences with online video. Now, with the events of 2020, I've been doing more musical stuff online than ever before, both for home and for church, as you've probably seen on my Facebook posts. So it's given me an opportunity to explore the possibilities and the challenges. Now, if I get the chance, I'm hoping to do a video specifically about setting up the technology for streaming church services at minimal cost and hassle. But for now, I wanted to talk about the virtual open mics I've been attending on a Friday evening, especially with regards to the camera setups. So this particular video was prompted by the opportunity to evaluate a webcam, the Amcrest AWC195B and to compare it with my current setup in terms of how it looks, how much hassle it is to set up, and whether it's suitable for streaming and uploading musical performances. Now my current setup of choice uses a camcorder. This one is a Sony HDR PJ240, a version of which is still on sale, and it's powered using a USB cable. It has to be a plug-in one since the PC doesn't provide enough current for it. And the camera is connected to the PC via an HDMI USB interface. I've just switched to the Amcrest webcam to do this bit to give an idea of how it works for a standard Zoom call or Skype chat. I just plugged it in and it was ready to go. It doesn't need a driver to be installed and it's got a fixed zoom length and focus. I'm quite surprised at the wide field of view. My monitor is at the back of the desk to give space for things like USB controllers and effects box and, and of course the computer keyboard. And it feels like I'm taking up about a third of the shot on the screen. But it's nice and clear though, and the colours seem to be much brighter than that on the camcorder. I've not played with the settings on either of them. And I'm quite impressed with the frame rate as well. With webcams in the past I've found that if I move too fast it will go a little bit blurry. Since my main instrument of choice is the ukulele, it will be uh, interesting to see how well it keeps up. I'm also using the internal microphone on the webcam. Uh, not really essential in terms of what I do on a Friday evening because I've got my own sort of audio setup, but uh, it's an interesting experiment nonetheless. Anyway, let's get on with the performances using some songs I did at last night's open mic. This one is my rendition of Invisible Touch by Genesis, which I did with my usual setup, camcorder on a tripod with the screen flipped out and facing me so I can keep an eye on the video. I'm still pretty new to the whole video thing, so I haven't played with the settings on the camera. This is in full auto mode, and I framed it to match the webcam, just to be fair. Normally I'd have it zoomed just a little bit closer so the bits outside the repurposed tablecloth I'm using as a backdrop wouldn't normally be visible. I'll let this play through for a bit. The full version will be uploaded onto my YouTube channel and the ZX85 Music Facebook page if you want to get the full 1980s vibe and a rather horrendous key change at the end. Here's the Amcrest camera. The first thing to note is that I had to move it a lot closer to where I was, which meant that it was blowing out a little with the reflection of the lights on the microphone. I'm wondering if that's why the backdrop looks a little odd on the right hand side. Once again, I didn't play with any of the settings and like the previous video, this is straight off the zoom preview. So the best view of what the other open mic participants would have seen. Now, as always, I didn't spend quite long enough rehearsing this, but I'll let this play through for a few more uncomfortable seconds before I summarise. Looking at them side by side, I think I could probably do with tweaking both of them in terms of contrast and colour balance, and it's not easy to determine which would win in that fight. But in both cases, the video is nice and sharp and clear, but I think it's the fact I can position the camcorder a bit further away and control the zoom that might swing it in this case. But then we've not talked about price yet. The Amcrest is £55, which is very much at the low end of decent webcam prices. The advice to keep away from those cheap and cheerful cameras applies here. You're not going to get anything of a reasonable quality for much less than this. 
The camcorder is three times as much at £170, and even if you only spend a tenner on the HDMI adapter, that's a fair outlay, and it's only because I already had it that I used it. There are alternatives like the EOS webcam beta utility if you've got a Canon DSLR. It looks amazing, but only runs on the camera's batteries. Or the Droid Cam Android software, which is good, but can be a bit laggy. But the whole point of this is to compare the webcam with my current setup. So to the pros and cons. Starting with the Sony camcorder. Well, the pros is that it has a proven video camera quality, for example. It's got a Carl Zeiss lens. It's also got optical zoom, which can be set to frame the video perfectly. And I can use the flip around screen to watch myself as I'm performing. The cons, so many cables. It also needs a separate power supply and it needs a USB capture card, which you can get for about a tenner, but that's flimsy and it's something else to go wrong. Also, it's 170 pounds, which is quite a lot of money. The Amcrest webcam, the pros. Well, it's quick and it's easy to set up. It's got a sharp picture quality and good frame rate. I love both of those. It's got monitor and tripod mounts, which I haven't actually seen on a webcam before. And it's a reasonable price for an all-in-one device. The cons, well, it's got a one size fits all lens with an infinite focal range and no zoom. And obviously I can't monitor myself if I'm not facing the screen. I'm also not really sure about the colors. I think they may need some tweaking, but in all honesty, I think I'm gonna use both for different purposes. I really think the webcam has it covered for the ease of setup. So if I'm chatting with colleagues or fellow musicians, or just want to jump into a call with a minimum of fuss, the Amcrest AWC-195B has it. Anything that involves getting the tripod out so I can stand in front of the camera, I think I'll stick with the camcorder. It's likely to be a bit more of a faff to set up and take down, but I can compose the shot more easily with it. That said, I really like that the Amcrest can go on a tripod. That is so cool. Now, if I didn't have either and I wanted to get going without spending too much, I think I would go for the webcam. It does what I need it to do, and it looks pretty good doing it. And it's competitively priced when compared to the alternatives. I hope this was a useful review. Links to the things I've mentioned will be in the description below. And that's the end of this video. And this is a generic sign-off.